Hey guys, it's Drac, and even though this would be a totally normal, perfect day to film, it seems like the weather is trying to turn on me. So we're going to pound this one out as quickly as we can while still covering everything. So, uh, beginning of this month, June, I was at uh, Blade Show 2016. I love Blade Show. I sponsor a booth there for my good buddy Aiden of Mead Wolf Hall. And this year, there was this group. And they had a booth, and it looked really, really cool. And it's honestly the first box of the month that I've ever been interested in. I go and do uh, prop panels at anime conventions and whatnot. And there's always like a few different uh, Weeaboo Bento boxes. And I've seen some Munch Packs, and Munch Pack has sent me stuff. But that all kind of seems like trinkets, things that I would never use. Whereas this seemed really, really cool and super duper interesting. This is a battle box. Now, the battle boxes all come once a month with like missions and whatnot. So, this is, I believe, mission 16. And the reason that I believe that is because I kind of got a tip from my friends over at uh, Sniper Blade Works who told me that this might be coming to me. So, let's, uh, let's do what we do best, which is unbox stuff, and we'll talk about it as we go through. So, uh,. Nothing to it but to do it. Now, there are going to be plenty of surprises in here because I really only know about <coughs> the the knife that's going to be inside. And I thought we'd do it POV style because that would be a nice change of pace. So, this seems to be our card telling us that the mission is navigation tools and training. This is mission 16 land navigation for June 2016. This is, of course, all of the, the values and the costs of the box. So the box can be purchased for anything from $24.99 a month or to $50 to double that to $100 or $150. And at the Pro Plus, you get a, uh, a special knife in the box. And what's hilarious about this one in particular, not hilarious, actually just a really cool deal, is here you can see that this is coming with their SOF chopper, which is valued at the cost of the box. So if you wanted a Sniper Blade Works chopper knife, um, you get that knife uh, at its regular price, more or less, and then everything else in the box is "quote unquote" free. But even the uh, the twenty nine or the twenty four ninety nine looks to be a pretty good deal. So let's get into it. The first thing that we're looking for in this box is we got to get rid of all the stuff, and then we'll try and find things in order because it looks like it's all packed in here very, very neatly. But I would like to go top to bottom. So. Here's our first thing, is this Coulter Company Stargazer bandana, and it looks cool. So it also comes with a, I guess you guys get the code now too, 20% off at their website using the code BATTLEBOX. So this is a glow-in-the-dark bandana with a chart of the night sky on it, and it looks to be a full-size bandana with, oh, this is cool. A full map of the night sky, all the constellations, and instructions for how to use them. So the highest star is Orion's belt, always rises and sets within one degree of true east or west. And then we have all of these kind of rings around telling us that uh, it helps to replicate this on the ground. It looks like this is a full-size bandana. We're going to check that real quick. And it is. That is very, very cool. So... Uh, we might replace our, our everyday bandana or our war bandana with this just because this is really, really cool. And it glows in the dark, guys. How neat is that? So that is excellent for, for land navigation. Occasionally, it's going to get dark and you're going to want to recalibrate. And this would allow you to do that. Plus, um, I'm not sure if anybody else has pointed this out. In addition to being a wonderful star chart, it's a bandana. It does everything that a bandana does. It makes a, a great tourniquet as well as just like a fun fashion accessory. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, I wear a bandana all the time to keep the sweat out of my glasses. I like that a lot. Uh, next on the list is a three uh, True Arc 3 compass. And I believe that this is, yes, the Brunton compass. So it looks as though this compass is magnetic. I, I honestly haven't used a compass since like way, way back in Scouts. Nowadays, everybody has an app for this. But one day, the, uh, the cell phones will die, and he who knows how to navigate with a compass will be king. So this one looks like... It's saying that it's got a global needle. I assume that means that you can invert it here, and it looks like you would be able to invert it if you 
cross poles. So if you were in the southern hemisphere, not just the northern hemisphere. I don't know that for a fact. Again, it's been a very, very long time since I've used a compass. But this one seems pretty durable. This is not the, the one that comes in the scout kit for certain. This is much, much nicer. And it uh, comes with a lanyard. So you could wear it were you so inclined. Next we have a Survival Gear Ranger DIY bead kit. So I assume these beads, here we go, are going to be for keeping a pace. So it comes with a carabiner, enough paracord to make it however you want, and the beads themselves. So the beads themselves are made of some sort of plasticky kind of rubber it seems and you could use these to keep track of your pace as you move them kind of abacus style down. Now what makes this really custom and kind of cool is you can see on the front here the battle box itself has a, uh, a centurion or a spartan style helm here and it looks like the uh, the bead that you cinch up in here is is replicating that and it's actually a really really cool bead for you everyday carry junkies. Hopefully we can beat the rain guys. I'm going to keep trying. But after that we have a Dave Canterbury's waterproof basic and primitive navigation guide. So that's one of these. I assume this is it. And it's made of a material that uh well we might get to test if the rain starts coming down is in fact waterproof so you could throw this in a pack and it wouldn't matter if your pack got soaked through it's got all sorts of little tips in it and it looks like it's uh, stupid dummy proof uh, definitely really really useful uh, all sorts of things like uh, how to leave markers for yourself that are meaningful as well as things like um, calculating your distance again using a pace counter things like Having a map would be helpful. How to estimate daylight. Just really, really great stuff. I will read that on my own time. I won't make you guys watch me read all the way through it. We are only halfway through the uh, the basic box. So then we have the U.S. Army Guide to Map Reading and Navigation. I mean, what could I say about this that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't be just like completely pedantic? I mean, this is the guide, right? Like the Bible to doing this stuff. Like who's better at this than the United States Army? I mean, that is awesome. I see this sort of stuff at Army Navy surplus stores all the time. And uh, sometimes it goes overlooked. Again, there's like apps for this sort of stuff now, but this is, this is tried and true. Like no electronics required. This is awesome. Really, really great. I will be completely honest with you. I'm going to level guys. I will probably not read this whole book, but I could definitely see myself referencing it while I'm testing out some of this gear. Now we also have a UTM navigation card set and reference card, the reference card coming for free. So that's these and these are additional tools for maps. It looks like they are also waterproof. You can put them on a keychain and they're giving you lots of useful formulas inclinometer there's no way that's a fun word to say that's that's very very neat and then this appears to be some sort of magnifying glass which you could probably also jerry rig to be your fire starter if need be but that is another fun kind of like fully waterproof additional thing that you could throw in a go bag or in a nav pack now the advanced kit is going to give you a better compass, I believe, a mirrored compass, and that's what this is. So I think that this compass certainly allows for multiple hemisphere use, but also has a mirror for signaling. And if I get it just right, maybe you'll be able to see my awesome video goggles in it. Probably not, but uh, allows you to signal to other people in your party or signal for help, which is really, really neat. That is a uh, $28 value and then a DVD which teaches you how to actually use this stuff. As we know on YouTube land, video is the superior medium, no doubt about it. So why wouldn't you like learn to use this stuff from a professional? I mean, I, I am not personally familiar with this fellow top Albertron, but 
I am quite certain that if he's in the battle box for land navigation, he can teach you how to land navigate. And it says both for sporting and for disaster situations. This fellow looks like he could cover it all. So that is an excellent addition. I will actually watch the DVD. I don't have the, the time to read the entire U.S. Army Guide to, to map reading and navigation. But let me tell you, I have an hour and a half for this gentleman to show me how to use some of this awesome stuff. Now... The next level is adding you $70 uh, binoculars for an additional 50 So these are 10 by 42 fully waterproof binoculars, which might be necessary <laughs> at this point. But here we have these, and they're Colorado binoculars by this company here. Let's go ahead and take them out like at a $70 value. I hope that these are very, very nice binoculars. And we are saving the best for last. It's also the only thing that I knew to expect in the box. But I've been looking at it this whole time. We can wait a few extra minutes. This is cool. They come in their own pouch, which is very neat. And then inside that pouch is the binoculars themselves. Looks like they come with a cleaning cloth and a lanyard for them. There's enough lanyards and paracords in here that you could wear literally everything in your land navigation box should you so choose but here we have these guys and again they've got covers but fully adjustable i can't see them through the goggles i can kind of see them these seem very very nice like i have had inexpensive binoculars before for a uh, sports viewing and these are, these are phenomenal. Like, I'm sure these would allow you to find those waypoints and those landmarkers that you otherwise might not be able to see, certainly, and, and get you where you're going just a little bit faster. But these are really, really cool. Multiple levels of uh, adjustment here for you to find that focal point that works for you. And the lenses are very sharp, like very clean, very crisp. George does not want me to complete my unboxing in time, but we're going to get there. I have faith. So those are the binoculars, and then the most exciting part of BattleBox to me is that if you did nothing else with the gear in here, and this is some awesome, awesome gear that's been specifically picked for the BattleBox, you have almost what amounts to being like a Knife of the Month Club, and this is the Sniper Blade Works Chopper. It's Still, we're going to go ahead and free it from this, but this is a heavy, heavy blade. We'll do a full review on this uh, if you guys are interested enough, but they've got their logo over here. Looks like some sort of uh, Kydex, perhaps. Handle, very comfortable, aggressive kind of curve here from handle into blade, and it is, of course, full tang. This could chop some brush down for you or be an excellent camp knife like this is heavy heavy duty stuff i would love to make a full review on this but this is a wonderful knife like i can't imagine what they were selling these for at blade show but i'm i'm quite certain that that this is in demand like this is really really cool so that's kind of the advantage of the box of the month sort of theme is that once you're subscribed when really good stuff like this comes up you don't have to fight over it it just shows up in your box and in this case it was an excellent deal where you essentially got all of your land navigation stuff for free if you were to have purchased a knife like this this grind is steep that is so very very cool so this obviously comes with its own sheath here and I will line that up and make a full review of the Sniper Blade Works SOF Chopper as soon as I can. But that's been my unboxing of the Mission 16 Land Navigation Box by BattleBox. And I mean, I hope that, that I can continue making videos on these for you guys. I will put a link 
down in the description box below to their website if you want to sign up. I'm pretty sure that you can sign up at the basic level and move up and down tiers any time that you so desire. Or at least I remember them saying something like that at their booth at Blade Show. And they had quite the uh, impressive spread at Blade Show. They had a lot of YouTubers out there doing demos and then they also just had a really cool booth with lots of fun stuff. But uh, that's my unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love making unboxing videos. Uh, this would be a, a once a month kind of thing if, if I kept up with it, but this is really cool. I like this box of the month. Knife of the month flavored with all sorts of other excellent tactical and outdoors gear. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Battlebox for sending this over, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Drack out.